going on, YouTube? What's good with y'all? Y'all see me? I see you. You see me? What? Oh my God. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so hyped right now, man. I have not made a video for y'all in so long. So to be like making videos again, just feel good. I, I feel good connecting with y'all again. I see y'all supporting me. Still, even though I'm not making videos, I still see y'all supporting the page and, and, and watching the videos. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. I know a lot of y'all be commenting and I don't be getting back to y'all. I really, I literally like, I just went back on the YouTube. See, I got to explain to y'all what's been going on, man. Basically, I haven't seen y'all comments. I just like literally went and I was like, oh man, all, all y'all commenting and I ain't saying nothing to y'all. I apologize. From here on out, I promise you, I'm going to try to get back to all the comments that y'all leave and saying everything because i really want to engage with y'all some more um i know like i said i left y'all high and dry i left y'all hanging so this video basically is gonna be just me explaining what's been going on why i ghosted y'all and and where i've been and what i've been doing you know stuff like that so let's go ahead and get into it all right so my bad y'all i had to open up my door get some air somebody came up neighbor talking to me so anyway so last video i made i was working with uh maverick transportation i was driving for them obviously if y'all seen the short that i posted obviously i i'm not with them no more um if you haven't seen the short well then that's fine because i'm gonna tell you right now so anyways i um last year i was with maverick i left maverick nothing bad with them it was just flatbed that just wasn't my thing it just i'll be flat out honest with you it just was not my thing maverick as a company as a whole solid solid company i never had no problems with them if you think about doing flatbed i would definitely say go to maverick they got they instructors is solid they ain't to me they ain't never told me no lies everything was solid with them so cool all right so i leave them i left maverick um so i was trying to get back I was trying to get local. I wasn't trying to be over the road no more. So the first job that I seen was a place uh, uh, here in my city. And they basically, it's like a rendering company. And for anybody that don't really know what that is, it's like basically like they get like, I'm hauling all the, the waste from after they cut up all the birds and the hogs and everything like that all that nasty stuff blood and guts and all that yeah i was doing all that so that was the first company well the only company that i seen with my because i was only with maverick for like three months really like so i didn't really have that much experience coming off of the road so i went on a plot for them i started with them that won't for me neither. I got there and I was just like, yeah, bro, this ain't it. <laughs> this ain't it, bro. And then I actually ended up getting sick. And um, I had to part ways with them, basically. So then after that, I'm trying to think, what did, what did I do after that? After that, I was, I was really like, so with me, the thing with me is I make sure that I save money. You know what I'm saying? I I never like leave a job and then just be like stuck. You know what I'm saying? I always have like a backup plan. So I had money. So I was like unemployed for like a couple months. I was just chilling. I was like, whatever. You know, it is what it is. Got money. You know, I'm just going to take a break and kind of reevaluate things and, you know, see how it is. So I'll say after that, it was like around November. November or December? It was like November. The end of November, um, I found another local job. I was working for Lowe's. And I um I got hired on for their flatbed. And you know, it was like a little small little flatbed truck. So I got hired for that. But what happened was when I was there. They was, like, going on, like, a firing spree. I mean, like, they was getting rid of, like, everybody, bro. And so 
when when I was there, it was like you got the flatbed drivers and then you got the people who do the box trucks. So they was firing like box truck drivers and for whatever reason. And then they was trying to get flatbed drivers to do the box truck stuff. Now, for me personally, I I I wanted to do flatbed because I mean you really ain't doing that much. You know what I'm saying? You get out of the truck, get on the little uh forklift thing, I forgot what they call a Moffitt. Get on the Moffitt, put it down, pick up what you getting, drop it off, and you good. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't that much. When you doing that box truck, when you doing that box truck, you getting up in there, you actually touching the stuff and putting it in people's house and stuff like that. I was like, bro, no, that's stupid. I'm not doing that for the little bit that you know what I'm saying, you pay. No, that's stupid. I, I, you hired me for a flatbed. So they were still doing all that, you know what I'm saying, getting on the box truck and then doing the flatbed. And So I was like, you know what? Peace, bro. <laughs> yeah, I trip it. So I left there. So then I, um, what was this? This was, I think it was like towards the end of January. No? So it was January. So in January, I was like, all right, bet, bro. This local stuff is just not working. I did, by this time, I got, what, uh, five months experience. So then I went, uh, and I was like, all right, I'm going to go back over the road. So I started working for Schneider. I went to Schneider. Everything good. Um, actually got on with they, uh, they had like a part-time like thing where I would go out for like a week then be home for a week and then you know it would keep going like that so you know everything seemed good i read it everything it was like oh you're going to be mostly southeast you know all that stuff like that you can go on their website and look i don't, I don't really care but um yeah they had part-time i was like i ain't never heard of part-time over the road I'm like shoot i mean what it said you make I was like, all right that's cool i could do that you know it's not like you know i, I can do it for what we're doing so I did that. I went there. I went to their orientation. Everything was cool, good. Everybody there was solid. So then I get over the road again. So with Schneider, that's drive-in. So I had never did drive-in. When I was with Maverick, that was flatbed. When I was at Valley Proteins, that was like tanker. Oh, by the way, I went and got my tanker endorsement and my hazardous materials endorsement too so I could work at Valley Protein. So, anyways, yeah, that was Tankers. And then when I went to um, Lowe's, that was Flatbed again. So, I had never did drive in. So, um, yeah, I went with Schneider. Um, I mean, it wasn't too bad. The only thing about them was it was like a huge miscommunication of uh, what the pay was. You know, I was told one thing and then it ended up being something else. And basically, they said it was just a miscommunication, but I, I ain't going to down talk, you know, down talk nobody or nothing like that. But that was just my experience with the pay. It was kind of like not what was told to me. So that's why I ended up leaving them. I was like, no, nah, I can't, you know, do all this work for this little bit of pay. That that just don't make no sense. So anyways, now we're at the present time. <laughs> How to catch y'all with the present time. So I currently work for Hirschbach. Now, hold on, let me let me get out real quick so I could uh I could get this sunlight on me. Cause I gotta tell y'all. Hirschbach. Hirschbach. Man, look, that when I posted this short, I seen a couple of y'all disliked it. I don't know what y'all experience was. I don't know what your experience was with Hirschbach. But my experience, my experience, man, Hirschbach number one, baby. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. Now, I know I ain't been there for a while. And some of y'all probably, oh, you don't know this and this and that. Hey, look, I said my experience with Hirschbach, number one. And I'm gonna tell you why. First off, Day number one. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, but seriously though, that's gonna be another video. I'll tell y'all more about Hirschbach and uh, you know what I do and everything like that. But 
I've been with Hirschbach now for what? It's only been like a month. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all probably, oh, you only been there for a month. Uh, uh, yeah, whatever. I've been there for a month. This whole entire month that I've been here, even through my training, everything has been solid. It kind of like give me like maverick vibes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's like everybody's solid. Everybody's upfront with me about what's going on. And oh, because <laughs> I told y'all it's, it's Hirschbach. But I also forgot to mention that I am local. I am a local driver. Um, I'm not over the road, so I couldn't really give you like an over the road thing. Maybe the people who disliked it, maybe they was uh, lease operators or over the road, but I'm local. I'm a local shuttle driver for Hirschbach. And for anybody that doesn't know what that means, I basically take a load to another destination, get an empty trailer and bring it back to my home location. That's basically what I do. And like I said, I'll make another video explaining to y'all exactly what I do. And I plan on actually making more videos and showing y'all hands on, you know, what I do locally. I mean, where you live, they might have something local and you didn't even know Hirschbach had local. You know what I'm saying? But that's basically, you know, what I do. I work for Hirschbach now. Solid company, solid pay everything just solid they truthful up front with me you know everything is good on my side with Hirschbach. i plan on being with them for you know for a little minute um but yeah that's really you know what's been going on throughout the time that i've been absent um just trying to figure things out figure out what i want to do where i want to go how i want to do things and what i really like and like here at Hirschbach, i'm doing um reefer was just something else new I had never did. So I'm, you know, I'm learning different things and learning what alley I want to go with in trucking. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So now I done caught y'all up, told y'all everything that's going on. Now y'all can definitely expect to have consistent videos from here on out. Uh, you know, I I done got you know a company that's pretty solid, and you know now that I'm pretty much grounded where i'm at you know i'm ready i'm ready to make y'all some some content man so what i need y'all to do like i always say like the video and subscribe and if you have a question a comment a concern anything that you would like to say you know to leave it in the comments you know that go ahead and leave it in the comments because i want to engage with y'all i really do I would I know if I didn't reply to your comments or any of the other videos, this is your chance for me to uh, uh, reply to your comment because I'm going to be watching for all the comments and all your concerns and everything from here on out. I'm going to be more active with y'all because y'all been supporting me. So until next time, peace.